what's going on guys um, I just want to say thank you for all the likes and the shares and the subscriptions you know um, I enjoy seeing my channel grow and I can't do it without you guys so I genuinely want to take the same time to say thank you guys because I really mean it I really mean it and I appreciate you guys okay um, today I'm gonna start this one off by saying you know rock bottom created the foundation that I stand on now you know so sometimes you might have to go through some stuff to like really understand who you are and what you want to do and unfortunately it took me many years many failures and a lot of you know bad things through life to get me to this point but I finally made it you know what I'm saying and I feel blessed that I'm here um another thing was you can't grow with certain people in your life you know it's like you were born to be an eagle, you were born to fly high, and you hang around chickens and pigeons and stuff like that, and you really, you're trying to figure out, like, why don't you fit in, you know, well, I look at it this way, why fit in when you were born to stand out, you need to be yourself, you need to do what you do best, then that's be you, um, you gotta understand, like, no matter what situations you you can always get help, but only you can rescue you from where you are, and you can get you to the place where you want to go, it all just takes determination and focus, but you have to believe that you can do it, and if you commit it to what you believe in, there's no reason you can't have it, you know, like you have the opportunity to do things that you've never done in your life before, you just have to change who you are and attain those things, um, think, think your dreams into reality, you know, in the Bible they say, man without a dream should perish. You know, or a man without a vision should perish, better yet. But I mean, that's the same thing, guys. You know what I'm saying? You need to have a dream. You need to, you need to utilize your purpose to bring people closer to the kingdom of God. It ain't just about you. You know what I'm saying? Please stop getting, you know, the mentality of, I can do it myself. Or, I don't need no help. Look. Nothing is impossible to God, you know what I'm saying? So that alone lets you know that you're not here alone and you don't have to do everything. You know, you need to pray, you need to give some things to God. Um, a lot of people work hard on their jobs and don't even dare to work on the craft or their purpose or anything like that. Look, that's important. Having a job is extremely important because you need finances to survive, correct? But if you're not working on your dreams, and you're not working on who you're supposed to be, then, you know, you, you're completely, completely missing the essence of who you are, and, you know, you're missing out on your blessings, you're missing out on your blessings, you're living a content life that, you know, you weren't, you weren't meant to live, um, look at it this way, at the, you know, whatever you believe in God, or whatever religion you believe in, I mean, there's going to come a point where we die. And when I get to this point, I don't want to get to heaven and say, or hear God say, okay, um, I made you this certain way. You've done this and you've done that. You grew up. You worked a, a, a decent job. And you retired. And you had a, a normal life. Or I want to get up there in heaven and hear him say, wow, I knew I created you. But I had no clue that you were going to do this much. Like, you done way more than I thought you were going to do. Like, I know everything. But I had to write this stuff down as you were doing it because you were working so hard. Like, that's the type of mentality that I want to have. Like, I want to advance the kingdom. I don't just want to go there. I want to advance it. You know what I'm saying? I want, it, I want God to understand that no matter what we're going through, and what situations that we have, you know what I'm saying? I have trust in who he is and what he can do in my life. For a small example, it's right here. Um, found out that I had some insurance money taken out of my account that put me in the negative. And I don't have a, like a steady job in the moment, but I start a job today because yesterday, you know, when I checked my bank account, it was in the negatives. And I was like, wow. You know what I'm saying? I got I got a choice here. Either I can either I can let this define who I am and let it define the rest of my day, or I can I can put myself in a place. It's like, hey, I can't control that right now. But what I can control is what I do. And in life, it, it is 
of what happened to you, 90% of how you respond. So when I figured out, okay, I don't have this money, what I'm finna do is I walked down the road and what I did is I found a job. You know what I'm saying? I went and, went and put in applications and boom, God works amazing. He worked right away. He works instantly when you do what you're supposed to do. Walk down the road, he say, man, you come here tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. I done woke up this morning, did my workout, making you guys a video. And right after this video, I might make breakfast and get out there, you know what I'm saying, go to work. You understand? But you gotta, you gotta continue chasing your purpose and you gotta pick God first. Because he gonna open doors that you ain't even know there. See, these little, small, little scratches that you think you have, they're so small. You know what I'm saying? God can deal with all that. <laughs>